Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Mattel figure review uh, for one of the biggest names on the women's roster right now and it is, of course, well of course, I mean if you can't tell from that fantastic intro by now then you, you'll never know, it is Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch, one of the most popular women on the roster, um, really talented in the ring. I can tell you that uh, she's been wrestling since 2002, she's wrestled all over the world. Um, she went over to NXT in 2013, um, debuted in 2014. Uh, she actually teamed with Bailey in some of her early feuds as they were feuding against Charlotte and Sasha. Um, and uh, she got called up in 2015, obviously as part of PCB. Um, she's not had much success when it's come to titles, like she didn't win the NXT women's title, she hasn't won the uh, Divas title or the women's title yet, but you know that her time will come. Um, very, very passionate, very passionate. She started having that new, well I think it's new anyway, you know that catchphrase where she's like, Street Fire! Like that, and then she's going bang, charging into them. She's got her uh, submission finisher, the Disarmer. Um, she, she's a really, really good wrestler. Why is she a good wrestler? Well, she's just naturally a good wrestler, but also she was trained, trained by Finn Balor. It's brilliant that Mattel have finally released this uh, basic um, uh, Becky Lynch. Can't wait to get it open and have a look. It's a shame that it's not an elite because whenever she makes her entrance, she normally comes out with a nice jacket as well and there's you know there's a couple of bits accessory wise they could have thrown in with this but obviously with this being a basic um you know you, you just tend to get the figures um really really pleased to see that it comes with the goggles um so yeah i'm just i'm really looking forward i don't know if the goggles move down that would be cool if they did so we'll have to have to open it up are the ones in the line john cena Sin Cara, really nice Sin Cara actually. Uh, Sting, Becky Lynch, The Miz and Roman no longer reigns figure in there as well. So let's get this open and we will have a look. Uh, what's great about the basics is it doesn't take too long to get into them. Boom, boom, boom. Right, we'll find out together. Do these goggles come down? <gasps> Yeah, they do, you know. Look at that. There we go. So that's with the goggles down. I wouldn't have them down to tell the truth. She always wears them up, so um, just have them up like that. I think the hair is pretty smart. It's obviously uh, the right colour. Um, there's no... Well, I say there's no surprises. It's got, like, the two bits of fabric on the back there, which I think is a nice touch. It's not just, like, a plain flat back. Um, it's got like the two wing pieces, if you will. Um, it's got uh, Becky Lynch in the box on the chest piece. Uh, as I said, it comes with the goggles. Um, slightly darker on the top of the legs because she tends to wear slightly darker tights. Um, I think I think there's just there's a lot going on in this bottom bit here. Um, and the face scan, I've, I said it on the toy hunt. I was calling her Becky Grinch because I don't know if you can make out that face there, but she is not happy at all. It's probably because she's just in the intro that I did and she's really offended, um, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame her, I'm offended. Um, but, you know, decent articulation, bends, you know, just under the chest bit, um, arms, um, she can do the splits. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I think I really like the flaring at the bottom as well, the flaring over the boots. I think that's a really smart addition. Um, arms don't really go down. Well, they're not too bad. Like, it really bugs me when Mattel figures and their arms won't go down by their side, but that's not too bad. I think you can look at that and tell who it is straight away. I don't think the face uh, scan... Well, really, I should say expression is the best choice. I think they could have had something a little more fun than that facial expression. Um, but I think they've done a really good job for the first time of getting, you know, a lot of the components correct. She seems quite thin, and I'm not sure if she's too thin. Not By no means is Becky Lynch, like, a big girl 
but that is that is very very thin and it's like borderline anorexic um so yeah i i think i think there's a lot going on with this figure a lot of good stuff going on with this figure i think that uh, an elite might be able just to uh, to take it to the next level um so but i've not heard of a, an elite becky lynch coming so if you if you're umming and are in i would strongly recommend it because i would give this a oh do you know what it's really difficult um i would give this i would give this a low eight a low eight just it doesn't feel strong enough to be a solid eight but it's not it's nowhere near weak enough to be in the sevens so it deserves to be in the eights but but a low eight um because as i say that facial expression just doesn't seem quite right not really that much fun there's a lot going on at the bottom the body type might be a little on the small side um, but I think they did fantastic with the goggles. I love those. Um, and there's some great detail in there. As you say, the, the Becky Lynch logo on the chest, uh, kind of the top part. So, yeah, really cool. Good figure. If you're thinking of getting it, uh, it's it's wrestling days recommended. Um, so uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've got this, if you're thinking of getting this. Uh, obviously, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter uh, or drop it in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, it would be crazy good if you would or could. Um, and hopefully, I will see you again next time. Let me see if I can get Becky's arms ready to say goodbye. Pop that there. Cool. Right, guys. See you next time.